Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to our first ever video on F1 2022 The Game, or actually F1 22 The Game. Um, today, Codemasters and EA have released the um, announced trailer and some information as well, so that's what we're going to look at today. If you guys are up for this game, let me know in the comments below and let's get straight into the video. So, first of all, I will not show the um, announced trailer here, not because of copyright, but because it's literally a 30 second um, clip showing no gameplay whatsoever, only saying that it's gonna come out July 1st, so not much to see there. If you wanna look at it, you can just look it up on YouTube, but I'm not gonna show it here. So instead, I'm gonna look at the um, EA website and see what they say, because there's always some more information apart from the trailer. So, uh, first of all, we've got some gameplay shots here, which we didn't get in the trailer, which is kind of annoying. I mean, if you've got these shots, just show them in the trailer. It really doesn't make any sense. This is what this is the only thing we saw in the trailer. These are all first of all these are all standard FOM cars, so that's why they're all the same. But in terms of graphics, I can't really tell if it looks any better, honestly. Um from these pictures it looks maybe a bit better. I do have to say it does look a bit better, but I don't know, I feel like I'm, I'm hoping for a bit more of a step up before the game releases. I don't know, there's something that feels a bit Still a bit game in this. I feel like they could go even more realistic, but it looks definitely a lot better than previous games. A lot more detailed, in my opinion. But maybe it could still do have a little bit of work in terms of the pictures. Now let's read the actual information. So first of all, uh, not much here in terms of information. Uh, okay, there's something. Take your over, take control of your virtual F1 experience with immersive and broadcast options for pit stops, formation laps, and more. We'll go more into it later, but that's cool, you know. And it actually seeing both immersive and broadcast options for these. So that means for pit stops, does that mean you can do the pit stop yourself because it's immersive, you're doing it, or you can choose to watch it from like a broadcast. That would be pretty cool. And formation lap as well. Some people might not like doing formation lap, but they think it's cool to watch it. So that could be a cool thing to broadcast. So, you know. Anyways, let's go to read more now. Let's, let's get into the uh, more information. So I think this is the trailer they just, yeah, this is the trailer they posted, just making sure we're not missing anything. This is on the new Miami International Autodrome, so I believe all the tracks gonna be in their launch, in at launch, so that's good. Um, that's definitely a step up from the past years. And, alright, so let's start looking. So first of all, I really say, like I said, it's gonna be on, uh, it's gonna be PS4, PS5, Xbox X, Xbox Series S, Xbox One, and, P and PC, so a lot of consoles, even for the last gen. Um, and uh, if you pre order, you can start racing from June 28th, not June, uh, not July 1st, which is the actual release day. So, what's new? First of all, new season, new rules. So, um, take your seat for the new Air Formula 1 with the sports stunning new cars and a new handling model. This is crucial because we've had the, pretty much the same handling model for many years. We had a step up last year, but this seems like it's like a brand new handling model, so that's going to be really cool to see how that works out. The recase the intense wheel to wheel racing that, is, that has on the edge of our seats so far in the 22 and 22 Formula 1 season. Plus there's your talent among the iconic Florida palm trees around the 19 challenging corners of Miami, so that's gonna be on the um, on the um, on the game. And it's also gonna be F1 sprint racing. That's really cool, because we didn't have that last year of course, but that's gonna be in this year. It's gonna be curious to see if it's only on the tracks that it is in real life, or if it's also in the tracks in whatever tracks you want. That'd be pretty cool if it's in whatever tracks you wanted. Uh, race area defined. New race options in F1 2022 will give you more control over virtual F1 race day. With the opportunity to choose between immersive and broadcast styles, like I said earlier, um, formation laps, also pit stops said earlier, and safety car pits. Now, I don't know if here it's just saying that you can, like, it's just this, immersive and broadcast style safety car periods, but it'd be really cool if you can choose, because by saying period, instead of saying safety cars, Maybe you can have more of a volatile safety car where you can have it more more laps or less laps depending on um, how bad the crash is. That would be interesting to see. But no mention of red flags, so sadly that's still not in the game apparently. Um, and also there's going to be VR, but sadly only for PC players, which is kind of disappointing. I feel like there could have been VR for uh, console players. Maybe they'll patch this in at a later date, hopefully, but for now, it's only gonna be on PC. Then F1 Life, this is really cool, because this is kinda of like a career mode, but more immersive apparently, because get a taste of the glitz and glamour of F1 in real F1, of Formula 1 and F1 Life. A new space for you to unlock and show off supercars, clothing, supercars, that's cool. 
Uh, maybe this, yeah, maybe there's some cars in the game as well. I don't know what that's gonna, what this is gonna be like, but clothing, accessories, and more for the world to see. So this is kind of like a press game, press uh, section of the game. That's really, really cool for somebody who wants a more immersive experience and more realistic experience, though, because that's something that happens in your life as well. You know, drivers go to certain shows, certain things, and they show off certain parts of their personal life and their life to the press. So that's gonna be a really cool thing, in my opinion. Um, F on life. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a main thing because it's just a thing on the side kind of that you do apart from racing But it's gonna be really cool nonetheless um, By the way, there's no mention here in this first page. There's four pages actually or is this picture? There's just pictures, okay, so there's no mention here of a uh, Story mode which there was the first thing I mentioned in F1 2021 So I imagine that means there's not gonna be a, a story mode this year. Hopefully next year though Maybe a sequel to breaking point so that's it for the new features, and then for the turning features is my team carrier mode, F, um, split screen, F2, online multiplayer, and everything else. And in terms of pre-order, it's actually a cool news here. So if you pre-order, you don't only get to you don't only get the game three days earlier, but you also get a special Miami-themed content pack featuring livery, suit, helmet, gloves, a cap, T-shirt, and a wall design. But the wall art designed by local artists. So I believe by everything that we've seen so far by F1 Life and by this. It looks like this game is going to be a lot more than just the driving side of things. Like last year we had the story mode that was still a lot of focus on driving. This is going to be, in my opinion, even more focused than last year on things outside of driving. Like, you know, like I said here, clothing, accessories, supercars, just customization in general. The only thing that I'm worried about is the livery and the suit, helmet, and gloves. Because that worries me that once again we're going to have presets. I hope not. I hope it's kind of like you get this, but you also can make your own customized livery, gloves, suits, helmet, whatever, but it is wearing me a little bit. And this only happens when you put the game before May 16th though, so make sure to do that if you want these cool new things. In terms of a second version, usually from since like last year, we've always had two versions. It looks like it's only going to be one version, and that's this one. Maybe if, you're, if you pre-order before May 16th, then you, get, you have to pay more because of these extra things. It's kind of like... If not, just wait after May 16 and you can pre the then and you pre the standard version or you can pre this version with more uh, things added onto it. Like I said, also you got three days earlier. New era content, F122 new era content. Now, they haven't mentioned this new era content at all in this, uh, in this document. So I'm thinking there's more news as well in terms of this new era content. What could this be? It's definitely something to do with the fact that obviously we're in F122, but F122, but I don't know if it's something, a new mode maybe. Focus on the fact that there's new regulations, possibly, um, but we'll have to see for this. And then a life startup act, which means you may get probably more clothing, supercars, accessories, stuff like that, and my team icons, so that's staying in the game, hopefully it's going to be more, and 18,000 Bitcoin, that's a lot of Bitcoin, so, you know, a lot of things you can get from just pre-ordering before May 16th. And then there's also going to be more to come. I will cover this more to come in, when it does come in the future, uh, in future videos. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see them. One quick thing I will say before ending this video is that there's no mention of classic cars or classic tracks, which which a lot of people have been wanting, me included. So hopefully, hopefully there's going to be some news about that because I am quite worried that we don't get that this year as well. And that's going to be kind of disappointing, especially because this is the first game made complete by EA. And, you know, something that, you know, players have been asking, because it just adds a little bit when you get bored of the standard things in the game, you can do something else. You can do, you know, classic tracks with classic cars, and there's no mention of that, so let, let's see what the next few weeks have in store for us. But in terms of the last thing we're going to do in this video, just look at these pictures, Let me and you guys, let me know what you think of them. Um, because, I mean, it looks pretty good, but I... I can't tell if it looks any better than last year. You can see there's better lighting, and that was seen in GT7 as well, in that uh, all of these cars have a lot more glare to them. But apart from that, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking forward to more pictures because I can't really assess the graphics from these. But, um, oh, actually, we do get a cockpit picture. And so let's see. Let's actually take a look at here. And actually, from this picture, it's giving me even less hope. I don't know. The... First of all, one quick thing from this picture we can actually take is that they've remodeled the Saudi Arabia curbs to be more realistic. That is that is important because we could be thinking maybe we're getting laser scan tracks. We haven't heard from that, but that would be cool if we did get that. Um, 
And in terms of everything else though, these little these fins here don't really look that great. The tires look kind of flat. What's this tire doing here? Oh, it's another car. I was like, I just saw this tire there. Then maybe it was glitch or something. But um, I don't know. It. Uh, let let's wait. Let's wait. Um, it's a work in progress, not final car model. So I'm really hoping that we get some better pictures to really assess how the graphics look. But that's been it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely was hoping for a bit more uh, from the game, a bit more news from this trailer and from this news article. But it's not like that's all we got. But let me guys know in the comments below um, if you're hyped for this game, and I will post videos whenever news comes out. Comes out. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.